Throughout Roblox's history, there's been many times where games have taken down Roblox as a whole. Sometimes it was due to high player counts, a broken feature, or even a YouTuber. And today, I want to go over every single situation I personally remember and just talk about them because they are very, very interesting. But let's just start off with some failed attempts at crash Roblox. For example, Pet Simulator 99 is a game that released very, very recently, and sadly, it did not crash Roblox. But you might be asking, why did people think this was going to crash Roblox? Well, it's owned by big games, and it's a Pet Simulator game. You get it now. Basically, Basically, yeah, Pet Simulator 99 released and people thought it was going to crash Roblox, but sadly it did not because on release day, it maxed out at around 450,000 players, I believe, which is a lot of players, but not enough to crash Roblox. And now if you look at Pet Simulator, it still is at around 330,000 players on average, which is a lot of players. Who knows? Maybe in the future, this game will crash Roblox in a different way, but as of its release, it didn't. So that kind of sucks. But now we can move on to another failed attempt to crash Roblox. Well, not really an attempt, but just something that kind of confuses me because Brookhaven is the biggest game on Roblox and has been for many years now. The game is so ginormous, in fact, that it averages around 500,000 players at all times, which is crazy crazy but sadly they've never released like a crazy update from what i know that has actually crashed the roblox website unlike adopt me if you don't know adopt me is a absolute powerhouse on roblox and was one of the biggest games in roblox history and today it still stands at around 120,000 active players which is absolutely massive but back in 2020 it was a whole different beast because every time this game would update it would actually crash roblox's servers for hours at times and just searching up roblox adopt me crashing roblox on google you can probably find quite a bit of videos about this, such as this video by Creekcraft saying, Adopt Me crashed the entire Roblox site four years ago, dude. So this is in 2019. And uh, there's this guy's video, but we don't we don't talk about him. So yeah, Adopt Me was a complete powerhouse. And after Adopt Me crashed Roblox a bunch of times, it started getting a lot of hate. The main reason people actually hated Adopt Me back in the day was because of it crashing the website every time it updated. So yeah, that's just a little bit of Adopt Me lore. It's not the only game that has done this because Pet Simulator X is another pet sim game on the list that has actually crashed Roblox a lot of times, okay? Now for some reason, the game still has 10,000 players, even though there's a new game out. But either way, this game used to average around 200,000 to 400,000 players just normally. But on every update, it would get to the point where they would reach millions of players. And once a game gets a million players, Roblox's servers start to look like this. Now, I remember there was like a handful of times where Pet Simulator would release an update and the whole site would go down for like an hour or two. And it was kind of crazy, to be honest. The fact that this game had the power to destroy Roblox's servers is just kind of cool and it's kind of scary bro and now moving on to the next game that had a similar experience and it's blocks fruits again blocks fruits is one of the biggest games on roblox and as you can see they average around 600,000 players on average but when they get a big update this number can get upwards of like 2 million players recently this year i think like a couple months ago there was a blocks fruits update that was so massive that it crashed roblox for three hours and the reason for that is because blocks fruits had i think around 2.5 million players trying to play the game and i think it even like broke the player world record by a mile but sadly they crashed roblox and uh they never got to get to their actual peak player count and now we can move on to a game that crashed roblox for 72 hours it's chipotle if you don't know chipotle had an event back in 2021 if you somehow don't know about this you are so out of the loop but basically it was this game right here called Chipotle Burrito Builder, which has 40 players right now. Uh, yeah. Now, basically, when this update came out, it was found that you could get unlimited free burritos from this game by creating multiple accounts. So, a bunch of Roblox players did that to the point where it crashed the website for 72 hours. Now, this is not true. And the reason I said all that is because this was the main theory behind Roblox's crash in 2021. Everybody thought it was this Chipotle game, but as we all would find out months later, it wasn't. It was just a simple error in Roblox Roblox's systems and not Chipotle's fault. So Chipotle lost a lot of customers for no reason. I'm going to be honest. But now we can move on to a different game that I'm speculating could break Roblox if you directly and it's a game called new gear test now what is this game you might be asking well it's a game that has an uncapped server size almost because it has a server size of one two three four five six seven eight nine <laughs> yeah so basically you can have this many players in this game at once but sadly this has not happened yet now obviously 123 million people or whatever have not joined this game all at once and honestly i don't even think that would be possible but theoretically i imagine if that many people joined this game 
game, it would obviously crash the website. I mean, Roblox's max player count they've ever had on the whole website was around 9 million. So yeah, the fact that this has a 123 million server cap, uh, it's obvious that it could crash Roblox if that many people were to join it. But anyways, we can move on to a more important game in this list. And it's Junkbot or Junkbox. I don't remember what it was called, but basically back in 2020, YouTuber Flamingo crashed Roblox by hosting a raid. Now, this didn't crash Roblox in the typical way, but looking at this video, you can see how crazy this whole event was, okay? As you can see, there's 141,000 players in Flamingo's game. And basically, how this broke the website was it actually destroyed Roblox's teleport service, which was being used in a lot of different things at the time, such as the Roblox Lil Nas x concert and yeah i think uh, albert mentions in this whole video that a lot of developers were freaking out at the time because his junk bot raid or whatever he was hosting literally broke roblox's servers with him reading a tweet in the video from bereza saying roblox engineers making sure that the servers are ready for the Lil Nas x concert albert performs the biggest teleport in roblox history an hour before the show so yeah roblox didn't go completely down because of this but it was very close like a lot of games broke because of this now for another youtuber that actually crashed roblox we we have steak now i don't know if steak actually crashed roblox it's just like okay let me show you what happened okay around 10 months ago he made a stream where he put a circle in a game and he got all his viewers to join that game and sit in the circle kind of like a mr beast channel but for some reason once 700 people joined his server roblox started to crash in which as you can see in this live stream he's very worried <laughs> um and tweeting I think my stream may have caused Roblox to shut down. We filled up a server with 700 people and spammed server events. Sorry, Roblox, blah, 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 right? Going through this, you can see that everybody was talking about how Roblox was down and such. I don't think this was actually Stake's fault. I think it was just like a thing where Roblox went down and I think it was a big troll. But further in this stream, we can see the next part of this video, which is even more games that have seemingly crashed Roblox. As you can see, Stake is now <laughs> making this face watching Creekcraft's live stream. As you can see on the same day, Stake had his whole event thing pet simulator x and doors updated as well as an rb battles live event was happening so there was just so many big things happening on this day that roblox literally just shut down and couldn't take the heat and yeah that also means that doors is added to the list of games that have crashed roblox because it was a main part in crashing roblox on this day in this live stream in conclusion what we have learned throughout this video is that roblox is a very interesting platform that seems pretty weak in the grand scheme of things because once roblox gets over nine ish million players on their website their whole website falls apart as you can see by this tweet here from the rtc basically saying that roblox shut down right before hitting 9 million players and uh, yeah, this wasn't the only time that this happened. Three more times within a month span of that tweet, it happened three more times. So Roblox would crash as it hit around 9 million concurrent players on the website. Basically, if Roblox gets 9 million players on it, uh, it'll crash. And that's the math behind it, guys. Uh, so yeah. So, yeah, Roblox, if you're watching this video, which I highly doubt you are, you might need to upgrade your servers because they're clearly not working properly, man, as you can tell by this whole video. Anyways, bye.